So welcome to Steps to Maths and today we're going to be looking at equations and we're going to be thinking about equations as a balance and we'll be looking at balancing an equation. So here we have, we have some value A that we don't know and we know that 7 times this value plus 5, so whatever this total value here is, we know that that is the same value as 2 times A plus 55. So we know that these two things have equal value. And what we want to do at the end is we want to try and figure out what the value A is. And at the moment, we're going to do that through the idea of a balance. So that we know that we have some value A, and we know that we have seven of these values, plus five, and on the other side of our balance, we have two of these A's plus 55. And we're thinking of this as a balance. Okay, so this is held in balance and we want to keep it in balance. So this is a logical statement. Our logical statement is telling us that this value is the same as this value. They are different expressions but they have the same value. If they have the same value they can kind of stay in balance. So for this, uh, for this idea at the moment we're going to think about it for, it's easiest to think of it as terms of as a weight for the moment. Uh, when we deal with negative numbers, that won't be so obvious, but for positive numbers, we can think of it just as a weight. Okay, so we have 7 of these things plus 5 is the same value as 2 of these things plus 55. Now, I want to find out what the value of one of these things is, and it's not very easy to do that when we've got values on both sides of our balance. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove these two. If I do that, of course, this side of the balance will fall. So I need to keep it in balance. I've removed these two, so I have to remove these two. Let's have a look at what that looks like in our equation. We have in a statement that says 7a plus 5, the value of 7a plus 5 is the same value as 2a plus 55. I wanted to remove 2a. So our next logical statement is we're going to remove 2a, so we subtract 2a as well to keep it in balance. When we remove this 2a, we have to subtract it here. So we get 7a minus 5, sorry, 7a minus 2a, we still have our other term there, plus 5, is equal to plus 55. Pretty straightforward. And of course, as we go along, we always simplify as we go along so that our statements is easiest to read. 7a take away 2a is 5a, we still have our other term plus 5, and we know that this expression has the same value as this expression here, 55. So that's what we have here. We have 5a's plus 5 is the same value as this expression here, 55. But if we want to figure out what a is, we don't want this 5 here either. So I'm going to remove a 5 here. Of course, if I remove it from one side, I have to subtract it from the other side as well. Let's have a look at how that works in our equation. I'm going to remove this plus 5. If I'm removing a plus 5, I have to subtract it from this side as well. We're subtracting it from both sides. We're doing the same thing to both sides. We're removing a plus 5 and we're subtracting 5 here as well. That gives us that 5a is equal to a value of 50. So we know that when 5 times some value is equal to 50, that this value is going to be 10. That's clear enough here. When we're dealing with decimals and other numbers and mixtures of algebra, it's not so obvious exactly what we've done. So we need to remember what our method is here. If I have 5 times a, I want to know what 1a is. So as we've seen already, if I remove a 5, I can remove a 5. If I subtract a 5, I can subtract a 5. Subtracting 4a here doesn't do anything for us. We just end up with a different expression here. That doesn't help. So what we're going to remember is we're going to remember what the situation here is with our balance. We need to remember that when we have a balance, think of a balance as a seesaw. If I've got an elephant here in a box, and on the other side I have a big uh, bucket of uh, steel weights which weigh, I don't know, three tons. Well, I know that if I double it up, if I put another elephant here, I will need to double up this side as well and add another three tons. If I triple it by adding another elephant, I'll have to triple this by adding another three tons. 
So whenever I scale up this side, or scale it down, I have to scale the other side as well. So multiplying is a way of scaling things. I've multiplied by three, I've scaled this up by three. If I scale one side up by three and I scale up the other side up by three, it stays in balance. I've scaled this down five times. It means I've divided by five. If I scale that side down, I need to scale this side down by the same amount. Okay, so you already knew here that five times some value equals 50, you immediately knew that the value, see, see what this means? Five multiplied by something equals 50. You knew that, that that had to be 10. But we also wanted to know what our method was. And our method is we scale down by five, so we scale down by five. Okay, so it's a balance. We work step by step. What can we do? Well, I didn't want to have A's on both sides, so I removed these A's here, so I have to remove them here. I didn't want a five on this side and on this side, so I removed the five here and I removed it here. Okay. I didn't want five of these, I wanted one of these things, which means I've scaled it down five times and I do the same here. So that's what you're going to be doing with equations. You're going to be adding and subtracting things, scaling them up and down. Now, this question, the numbers mightn't work out quite as nicely. But we're still having similar ideas. I'm not going to actually have plus 17. I'm going to have minus 17 here. Okay. Now, traditionally, we work from left to right. So traditionally, we like to have our A's on the left-hand side. We'd like to have our unknown values here and our known values here. Okay. That's just tradition. We don't have to do it. It doesn't make any difference because if the value of this is the value of this, it's the same both ways. But let's have a look at this example. The reason I want you to have a look at this example is because I want you to get the idea. I'm actually going to change this example. I want you to get the idea of working with negative numbers a little bit as well. Okay, again. I have a logical statement that says the value of this expression is the same as the value of this expression. I don't want to have a 4a here, so I'm going to sub remove it here and remove it here. That leaves me with my new expression, 7a minus 4a minus 17. We're thinking in terms again, remember? We dealt with terms before. It's the same as plus 6. As we go along, we always tidy up. We know from simplifying that 7a minus 4a is 3a, and we have our other term, 17 is equal to 6. Now, I don't want this negative 17 here, so I'm going to remove a negative 17. Okay, how do we remove a negative 17? We add 17 to it. So remember, I took a in previous question, I took away a positive value, so I took away a positive value. In this one, I'm taking away a negative value, which is the same as adding. Okay, so if I take away minus 17, I'm actually adding 17 to both sides. I'm adding 17 to cancel this out, and I'm adding 17 here. I have 3a is equal to 23. I don't want 3a, I want 1a, which means I've scaled it down by a factor of 3. So I do the same to the right-hand side, and I leave my answer as a fraction. Okay, so that's how you do balancing. With balancing, we want to keep things in balance. If I remove a 4a, I have to remove a 4a here. If I remove a negative 17, this is removing a negative 17. Removing a negative is the same as adding a positive, okay? So I've subtracted a negative 17 and I subtract a negative 17. Keeping things in balance so that I end up, these are logical statements, this is true. I say this is true, 
Therefore, this statement is also true. 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 What's my final statement? A is equal to 23 over 3. That's the value I worked out for A. And with your calculator, you can check your answer by substituting that back in here and here and seeing what values you get. And you'll find that works out perfectly. Okay, so that's balancing. Have a go.